Hey guys, welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about modules in Python. So there are a lot of built-in modules and we have been working with some of the built-in modules already as part of the Python tutorial series. Now we will also learn about some of the more built-in modules. We'll go through the documentation and then how you can create your own modules. Now modules in Python are very important in terms of Python programming as well as when we go to the automation. So module in general in Python is basically just a Python file. So it's .py file and the things that we have been working till now in the basics, we are saving all our code into .py file. So if we have certain methods in a certain py file, that becomes our module and we can use it. And now what exactly is the purpose of having these modules? So in programming or whenever you are designing your automation framework or any framework as such in the Python programming, you want to structure your code and you do, you do not want to rewrite the same code again and again. So say for example, there is a method for adding certain numbers or to calculate the addition subtraction. So basically do a general mathematical operations. So if you define those methods in a particular file, then you can save it as .py file and then refer to the same file and the methods in other files of your program rather than copying all that code into other files. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of the modules. Now let's go to the documentation and I'll walk you through some of the modules, built-in modules that are available within Python. So this is the documentation and please make sure that you go to the official documentation and select the latest one that is available. So 3.9.2, 3.10 is still going on. So that's the one that we are referring, right? So this is the version that we are referring. And if you go to the library reference, you will see the standard library and the modules that are available there, right? So we have worked with the date time module and what exactly we get within these modules. So basically, if you go to this source code, you will see that it defines this particular Python file defines all the methods that we can use in our program if we simply, you know, refer or import this particular file, right? So modules help us to structure our code in a proper way and reuse the code. Okay, so that's what the relevance of module is and there are so many built-in modules that we can basically refer and will be referring. So you do not need to remember each and every of these modules, but you should know where you can find these modules, what, what documentation you need to refer to. So for example, I want to work with math module. I'll go to this math module and refer to the method that I, that will help us to basically achieve the operation that we want to achieve. Similarly, OS dot path. There are many modules that will be referring in the automation framework and in general Python programming, but you do not need to remember each and every module. There is so much um, information on this particular page that you can't basically remember each and everything, but you should always know which module to refer in case you want that particular module. So this is official documentation. You can go through it and understand some of the key modules. But anyways, as part of the automation and Python tutorial series, I'll anyways cover the key modules that will be working and you'll be using in your day to day project. So that is all about the built in module. Now, say, for example, you are doing the Python programming and you want to create your own module. So creating a module is absolutely simple task. We'll go to PyCharm and let's create the package here. Okay, so we'll create two packages. So say, for example, I want to create a module and then refer to that module. Okay, so I'll say the package name as my module. Okay, and within this module, I'll define my own module. So what will be the module? Module will be just the Python file. Okay, so I can say my custom module and this is the custom module. Now within this module, I can define the methods that I want to use. So I'll say func1. Okay, and let's just print something in this function. So I'll say func1 and I can define other 
function within this module okay let me put the colon here and the colon here and another method func2 which will print func2 very simple module so now this is my custom module okay so that's the only thing that is required in the custom module so you create the file and the methods that you want to reuse you define those methods into the custom module now we'll be using custom modules a lot in automation so say for example when we are trying to say for example capture the screenshot and we write the logic to capture the screenshot into a particular function or method so that function will be capture screenshot and that will be reutilized in all the test cases wherever we want to capture the screenshot so that's the real usage of the module that we'll be seeing in the automation journey similarly uh, there could be another example of say for example data cleanup right or opening the uh, the excel sheet or reading the file or writing the data into the file so there are many common methods that you will be using into the automation framework which will be defining as the modules or uh, the functions within the module and reusing them in future so we'll be defining something like this and then we'll be basically having the code within these functions so this is our custom module now if we want to refer uh, these functions from some other module what we need to do is let me create another package and we'll say module demo this package name and within this package say for example this is our test file okay so i'll say test module and in this module or in this particular py file i can use the functions that are defined here so if i uh, i want to use these functions i do not want to have this duplicacy here i don't want to copy and paste everything here so this is not a very good practice right this is not at all a good practice basically to have the redundant code so that is why what we'll do here in the test module so for example we want to use the modules that are there in my custom module so as we have been do doing with the built-in modules we'll use the keyword import so we'll say from and then we'll say the my module so we'll say my module right so we'll define the package we'll say import and the file that we want to import right which has the methods that we will be using in our program so we'll say from my module import my custom module now with this particular statement i will be able to access all the methods that are defined in this my custom module right so these two functions i'll be able to access absolutely fine okay so once i have imported this my custom module i can call the method within this my custom module absolutely fine in this particular class right so i just need to say my custom module dot func1 and my custom module dot func2 and if i print this now you will see func1 and func2 have been printed here on my console so these two functions are not defined here in my my in this particular test module python file right so they are not defined in this particular file but because i have imported my custom module which holds these two functions i can absolutely call them here and use the functionality so that's the point of using the custom modules and modularizing your overall code whether it's automation or a general python project okay now i'll explain the built-in module as well so we'll say say for example you want to import the built-in module so we can say simply from say math so from math we want to import some module okay so from math import certain for example let's say factorial maybe okay so we want to import the factorial method okay or function so this is our math module which holds different functions so we want to achieve factorials so we'll simply say the same thing as we have done the heat it here right in our custom module similarly we can call the built-in modules as well now because i have that functionality within this particular class i can use this factorial function here so i can say print factorial of say for example 20 right and if i run this you will see this is the factorial of 20 right so we are able to use the 
function that is being defined into this math module by importing this math module into our test module which is exactly similar similar to what we did with the custom module in custom module we will define our own methods in a python file and refer to those python files and use those functions built-in modules are already created for us so that we do not have to go ahead and write that code again and again and somebody has provided us and there are many people working on this built-in library they keep providing good stuff that is available for us to import and use and we'll see a lot of built-in modules that we'll use and expedite our overall python programming uh, project work and automation with selenium so that's all for this tutorial on modules in python and how to create custom modules in python i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching